The possibility of cardiac tamponade is ever-present after a motor vehicle crash that involves high impact and the thoracoabdominal region of the body. Acute blood loss of as little as 100 milliliters within the pericardial sac surrounding the heart can have deleterious effect on systemic perfusion. Cardiac tamponade is characterized by increased interpericardial pressure resulting in impaired diastolic filling. As a result, right and left ventricular preload is reduced, leading to decreases in stroke volume and hypotension. Differentiating signs and symptoms that are associated with cardiac tamponade include Bex triad, which consists of hypotension, muffled heart sounds, and jugular venous distension. Pulsus paradoxus, which is a 10 millimeter of mercury or greater decrease in systolic pressure during inspiration, acute pulmonary edema, and enlarged cardiac silhouette are other specific signs of cardiac tamponade. The emergency treatment for cardiac tamponade includes pericardiosynthesis or pericardial window, which both decrease intrapericardial pressure and allow the cardiac chamber within the heart to adequately fill. Emergency anesthetic management for intraoperative cardiac tamponade includes avoiding excessive myocardial depression. Ketamine has been used successfully for induction. Avoiding large tidal volumes and positive end expiratory pressure, both of which decrease venous return. Administer fluids to maximize venous return and maintain preload. Avoid significant decreases in afterload as worsening tachycardia will further decrease left ventricular preload. Avoid significant increases in afterload, which will decrease stroke volume. Avoid bradycardia, especially the use of beta blockers and phenylephrine, which will result in decreased stroke volume. Consider the use of epinephrine for hypotension.